Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. <laughs> How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Victim last seen, McCaffrey testifies to seeing victim enter a hotel with Tiernan on night of murder. Ding, ding, ding. McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with mm. Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. He's lying, but I don't have proof. Bad cop. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute, but you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You're lying, Tiernan. You'd been fighting with her. You fought and- I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, you're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. But she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Well, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. <laughs> Shifty eyes. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be hmm. very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Tiernan's accusation. 
Tiernan testifies to threats of violence against victim made by Grosvenor McCaffrey. Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made one a terrible door, mistake, but he'd be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. Okay, hold on just a moment. I want to invite a friend. Message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Hmm. Thanks for your help. You spoken to McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not quite. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Then I think we will be done. Sure. Go ahead. So Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning, very hungover. I thought Evelyn would have come back. Shifty eyes. He's freaking lying. I know you're lying, James. You went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? We got the evidence. McCaffrey's accusation. McCaffrey testifies to Tiernan, confessing and asking for help disposing of evidence. You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning and he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box and he said I came in with him last night. He said that I killed Evelyn and that it was all over the radio and that he would protect me. And I don't know, Detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. It wasn't me. Okay. I believe him. Because... Wait here. That call... Said that he nearly beat a woman to death. That is our smoking gun. Let's go get him. This is our man. In interview room two. Craig Cresvenor McCaffrey. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. 
All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? Really? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? I'll show you. Let's go down to McCaffrey's criminal record. McCaffrey previously charged with petty theft, assault, discharged from military. Discharged dishonorably from the military. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her. Okay. I think his confession right there. And his anger. Seal the deal. Charge suspect. Grovener McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grand. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. Lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. It's Gunny is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is the crazy, the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first. They try for the Naboos. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and infillate. Mate, we can I lose everyone. The lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant, and we just saved your ass by boarding the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have 10 men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Well done, lads. We did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. No one else but the killer knew about this message. Suffer woes 